Algeria, North Africa, home to three million plus Kabylie Berbers. In 1992, a small group of ministry leaders from Algeria and six other countries were to meet here. Three days of intense prayers and discussions followed. Eventually, these 14 leaders emerged with the commitment to accelerate evangelism among the Kabyles. They would work together in an informal but very intentional partnership. They were to link development and distribution of scripture, radio, the Jesus film and strengthening of national Algerian leadership. From about 100 believers in 1992, now today there are tens of thousands of believers among the Kabili Berbers. It is one of the largest movements of Muslims to follow Jesus in modern history. A powerful testimony to what God's people on earth can do when they work together. Mongolia, Central Asia, a distant country visited by few. In January 1991, 74 people from 25 ministries in a dozen different countries all met in Hong Kong. Their aim, prayer and discussion on how to develop the church in Mongolia. At the time, with its population of two and a half million, there were only four known believers in the entire country. Partnerships have been gradually developing over the last 20 years and despite enormous challenges, today a visit to Mongolia will reveal hundreds of churches and some say nearly 100,000 believers. Scripture, Christian radio and television, Christian schools and an alliance of evangelical churches all exist. In less than one generation, God's people have joined hands and worked successfully together. China. 200 million people watched the Summer Olympics. An audience of 700 million watched the Soccer World Cup here in Africa. Since the early 1990s, the International Sports Division and the Major Sports Event Partnership have used these massive worldwide audiences for witness to Christ. In a fast-moving world, these partnerships operate with minimal staff and virtually no budget. Yet today, over 20,000 Olympic athletes across all sports and countries have committed their lives to Christ.